Taiwan is certainly a destabilizing actor in the region. Whether or not it's an existential threat to the United States, no. And if you look at the broad swath of threats facing the United States, I would not say Iran is at the top of the list. Now, if they got a nuclear weapon, of course, that picture would change, which is why the last administration focused so heavily on getting a nuclear deal with the Iranians. Iran uses its proxies as a way of deterring the United States and deterring Israel and deterring others from attacking it. Uh, they are outmatched conventionally by the United States. So this is how they work uh, in the region to, to essentially advance their influence. I think the United States should always stand for the universal rights of all people around the world. Whether or not regime change or support for regime change is something that should be a U.S. policy objective, I don't think so. I think that's up to the Iranian people to decide. I think what Americans need to know is that there are thousands of U.S. diplomats, defense civilians, intelligence professionals serving overseas to advance the interests of the United States, and it's incumbent upon the United States government to keep them safe.